for the vacant USBO Cruiserweight Championship, and we asked him if he's feeling any added pressure fighting for a title. Well, no. Uh, really, I had a lot of extra pressure uh, on previous fights, and I saw that, you know, it affected me. So I just try to put it in my mind like I'm fighting another man. He's just another man. That's all he is. He can lose just like anybody else out there, just like me. We also caught up with Sean Hawk and asked him how important it is for him to get that championship here tonight. Oh, it's really important. Um, I really want a world title, and uh, this win is a stepping stone for, for that, for, for a world title. And our co-main event is coming up next. Okay, in the French kickboxing, I'm a fighter, and also I'm here on Italy Challenge Boxing to bring the right fight and also the safety of the fighter. Make sure no, no fighter is going to be injured or probably dying in a ring. I try to do my best so far to avoid that. But so far, I th thank you for also my friend and also partner like uh, Kenny Gressel and Mike Michael. So it's going to be have more people again. We we're going to have more people coming up because I'm going to play the right fight. Like Marvin Aguilar, John Mugabe. So boxing will be come back to the life. I promise you that. It's just beginning. Thank you. Boxing is a complex business. It's a toughest sport, both physically and mentally. In the ring, competitors have great respect for the art of fighting and a love for the sport. Their collective experience gives them the gift of understanding how to control themselves in everyday life. Being strong in the ring and in life, athletes' hearts are tender, kind, and generous. Standard A Productions will recognize these world peacemakers through a major annual event dedicated to their ideas. Ideas must be remembered by future generations. The, the memory of world peacemakers such as Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Abraham Lincoln, Chief Joseph of the Nez Perez Indian Tribe, Eleanor Roosevelt, Rosa Parks, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahan, and special tributes extended to Nelson Mandela, Mandela would be the central things for the annual events. All right. Each year, Standard L Productions will promote exciting boxing entertainment events worldwide to celebrate the spirit of freedom that these peacemakers gave us their undying legacy making each and every year a reason for all people to remember their contribution in fostering the brotherhood of mankind, leading us to a world of peace for our next generations. And I'll reiterate, as I said earlier, a portion of the sponsorship and ancillaries will be donated to the United Nations Fund and charities that focus on the victims of natural disasters such as Hurricane Katrina, the Indonesian tsunami, and human prejudice such as have occurred in Rwanda and Darfur, and sometimes right here in our own backyard. Let's get it together. Okay, no, uh, one more announcement. Gabriel wanted me to uh, let people know, and I think, because this is being televised, and this is something that's been on my mind and my heart for a while, too. Me and Gabriel been putting shows together for the last eight years. What, I, what we want to help create is a union for boxers. Because what boxers need is what every other athlete has, which is a union to make sure that they got medical, they got dental. Because this is a rough hustle, as y'all seen tonight. You step in here, you could not walk out of here. It's a dangerous sport. So the least they should have is medical and a retirement plan. Tonight, 10 rounds of boxing, all the way from Nova Scotia, Canada. That's right, he knows something about salmon and fishing. He's got 18 wins, 11 KOs, only losing eight fights. He'll be in the red and black trunks. He weighed in at 167 and a half pounds. Put your hands together, Sakuff, Carolina, but Jason, notorious, not love. No, he went the wrong way. No. Oh, my bad. 
<laughs> we got to start this over, man. We got to start it over. I told you I okay. tell jokes. I'm reading the wrong fight. Hey, okay. He ain't coming out to the next fight. But he is from Canada and probably know about fishing. Okay. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> The co-main event, 10 rounds of boxing, cruiserweight, WSBO cruiserweight title is on the line. Getting this All right, movie. round of applause, y'all. It's a title fight. We'd like to thank Hilton Whitaker III, the president of the uh, USBO boxing organization, Go on, raise your hand, get your recognition there, brother. Y'all don't know brothers doing things. WSBO's ran by a brother. You understand me? Tonight, 10 rounds of boxing. Coming out oh, with on. this cold main event. This is 10 rounds. Cruiser middleweight, USBO cruiser title on the line. Put your hands together all the way from Clover, South Carolina. 11 wins, seven KOs. No losses, one draw for Josh Slinger Green! And here is Josh Green fighting tonight in his home state of South Carolina. This is his first opportunity to fight for a championship. And Steve, he has fought the majority of his career as a light heavyweight, and at just 21 years of age, he certainly has time and natural yeah. growth Three. to move up in weight divisions. Yeah, at 6'6", he certainly can fill out and maybe be a heavyweight. And, his opponent and we asked Josh how he plans to utilize his size advantage Boyd here tonight. Uh, well, I want to try and keep as much range as I can for between me and my opponent. I'm going to try to stick a long jab out there on him, try to give him something to work around, you know, where he can't just keep himself set at all times. Uh, I'm going to try to move around the ring a lot if I can. Uh, I've had a little bit of trouble, you know, if I get caught up in a ring rope, so I'm going to try to get away from that. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. South Dakota, 16 wins, 14 KOs, zero losses and one draw. Coming in at 199 pounds, put your hands together for Sean Suez Warrior Hulk. And now making his way to the ring in this scheduled 10 rounder for the vacant USBO Cruiserweight Championship is 24 year old Sean Hawk. He was introduced to boxing by his father at the age of six and trains at the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe Reservation in South Dakota. And get this, Steve, he has to drive six hours each way to North Dakota for proper sparring. Well, that just shows dedication, and that's the type of dedication you need to be a champion. And we caught up with Sean Hawk earlier, and we asked him his thoughts on fighting a much taller opponent here tonight. Um, no, it doesn't. I'm um, just going go in there and do what I do what I train for. Just get in close, bang the body, go back to the head. And now let's take a look at the matchups. Well, as you notice, you've got a six foot six Josh Green. That's a very tall fighter, tall, lean, but he's actually four, uh, seven pounds lighter than Sean Hawk. So he's basically a bean pole versus a compact fighter. So I think he needs to stay on the outside and he's got to be careful to avoid getting hit in the midsection because he's a very big target having all that space between the trunk and the neck. And a big thanks to actor comedian Eddie Griffin doing a great job with the ring announcing tonight. Am I taking a cue from you guys? Oh. There's the bell. Round number one, this one's scheduled for 10. Well, right away you see that uh, Green's coming out trying to use a jab and lateral movement. <coughs> but uh, Sean's coming. The Warrior Hawk is coming forward. He's immediately trying to put on pressure. Both fighters undefeated. Knowing the importance of a win here tonight. 
to advance their careers to the next level. Well, and these regional belts are good to get your credibility, and they're another step on the way to a world title, so it's very important to them. Also, I also just think from an ego point of view, every fighter I've ever managed really gets that extra little bounce in their step the first time they get a belt and get to bring it home. So there's a lot on the line. You also like to say that you just beat an undefeated fighter. Sean Hawk has not fought in a year, just decided to take a break. He was a little bit burned out. And right now landing a nice right hand on Josh Green. Well, he doesn't look burned out. He looked very fresh. He looks very determined. Uh, he's low to the ground, compact. He's coming in. He's got...